What's up everyone, MK here and in this video, we'll learn to use Waze. So let's get into it. When you open it for the first time, it asks you to sign in. I'll use my Google account. This is the main interface. You can zoom in and out and tap here to go back to your location. Tapping on the location icon lets you share your location. You can also see nearby parking and for some reason routes in this menu. Waze shows the information on the map. The traffic on this road is heavy and the current speed is about 10 km per hour. You also see other Waze users on the road, also called Wazers. Here we have the police icon that someone has reported. You can choose your vehicle type from this option to get better routes. It supports private cars, taxis and motorbikes. I'll select private car. You can also manage voice navigation from here. Sound on means turn by turn navigation. Alerts only will speak up for the alerts and reports and no sound will mute the app. Tap on the bottom row to see your profile and other information. You can set your home and work addresses here. All the settings are in this menu. You can change the app language, units and other options here. Voice and sound is where you manage the voice options. We have the same sound button. You can also change the voice language. Waze supports over 150 languages. Adding your own is possible by clicking here and recording your voice. Lastly, you can play and control music from Waze. It supports those apps. It automatically detects the installed apps and you can connect to one and play music without leaving Waze. You can voice search for places or type in the keywords. The search screen also lets you find fuel stations, restaurants and parking nearby. Let's search for office works. If it's a business with many locations, you'll see the list. Tapping on one shows the business information including the phone, website and opening hours. You can tap on this parking button that will show the nearby parking. You can then navigate to this parking location instead. If Waze has a photo of this business, you'll see it here. You can also see Google results in this panel, but I don't see much of the difference to be honest. Let's search for something and navigate there. I'm going to type in College Street. Here we have the full address, nearby parking and two other options. You can tap later to plan this drive as we did earlier. Waze will remind you when to leave. You can view routes by clicking here. If you don't do anything, Waze will start the navigation on the fastest route. You can swipe up to see all routes with the travel time and distance. Tap on go now to use the fastest route. While navigating, you can swipe up to see the trip's progress. The red part indicates the heavy traffic. You can also add a stop. Let's do that now. I'm going to search for Salisbury Street. To start a new drive, touch the top button or add it as a stop below. Now you'll see both in different colors. You can cancel the stop or the whole trip at any point. On this screen, you see the arrival time, total travel time and distance. When you take a different route, the app will automatically readjust. Way supports reporting things. You will tap on this yellow button to see all the supported options. Tapping on one will send the report and everyone driving will see it. You will see reports on the map as you navigate. The app will also speak up if anything's ahead. Waze speedometer is here. It tells you the current speed and if you exceed the road speed limit, it will make a sound and show the limit. Also, the power of Waze is that it reports safety and red light cameras on your route. Here it's informing that one is very close. It also highlights the camera area. When you arrive at your stop, the app will continue navigating to the next place. Let's continue our journey to the destination. When you are close to the destination, you will see the photo and a P sign. Tapping on that sign lets you see the nearby parking lot and mark this point as the parking spot to find the car when you return. Before we go, on Android, Waze does not close automatically. You must open the notification panel 
and switch off the app. So this is it for the Waze tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you need any help and take care.